All right, good morning everybody. Welcome to another round of coffee and questions. What's today's topic? Let's talk about soldering irons, or soldering guns rather. And there's the ones from Harbor Freight, and I'm going to switch inside and I'm going to go over the advertisements with you on both. The Harbor Freight ones, and then here we have Weller. One's the Universal, that's over here, and the other one is the Professional Series. So, I'm going to talk about the Professional Series one, but both of them are available. I got one at a garage sale. I didn't pay much for it. Works great still. And the other, the professional that I got online. Now, I've had the professional for quite a while and it performs incredibly well for a soldering gun. You are going to pay a little bit more than you will from the one out at Harbor Freight. But let's switch inside. Let me show you the advertisements and I'll do a Q&A real quick. And I'll explain to you why I chose the Weller over the Harbor Freight one. Now, out at the club, couple of the people out there have the one from Harbor Freight. They like it. It works okay. I'm not going to tell you that it's junk, but it doesn't perform to the same level as the Weller. So, let's switch inside. I'll do the questions and answers and we'll go from there. See you in just a sec. Alright folks, so let's talk about the Harbor Freight one first. And so, what are some of the negatives that people are saying? Well, they say the tips are very cheaply made and you can go through these fairly easily. You can buy additional tips, but the tips just don't last. I mean, maybe a handful of solderings and then they tend to go bad. Um, the other issue is a lot of people return them because it just does not heat up very quickly or it doesn't heat up to a proper temperature at all. Okay, so out at the club, uh, they did have one. It worked okay. I'm going to say it worked so-so. Now, this is a 100-watt soldering gun. It would be nice, I mean, if it was like, you know, 140, 150, like somebody said in the comments. And I agree with them. Um, so ones that I have, like I said, are the Wellers, and we'll talk about those in a minute. But maybe that's the reason why people are saying it just doesn't get hot enough. Okay, so now out at the club, we had some 18 gauge, and it just didn't seem to want to get that hot. It was like struggling to get hot enough, I mean, to do the soldering. And then I read in the comments where somebody had both 18 and 20 gauge, and if you're trying to solder them together, you know, you might struggle with this. And again, that's probably got to do with the fact it's a 100 watt soldering gun. Again, that's the reason why I chose to go with the Weller. It's a higher wattage. We'll talk about that in a minute. But I didn't want to buy something and struggle with anything, really. Um, another downside to this, somebody made a comment that when you go to solder this to protect the gun to protect itself from overheating, you get to solder for about a minute and then you got about a four minute cool down period that the gun goes into and so once you know that and you get used to it it works okay for a lot of wiring i guess that you're going to solder but again i don't have that much experience with it other than the guy out at the club we sat and we demoed it but we'll move on to the weller here okay now one of the first differences you're going to notice you're going to pay more it's fifty dollars for the professional series one but it's 260 watts of power to 200 watts of power. And it's got like, you know, if you take a look at it, it's got like a gun feel to it. A little bit on the heavy, bulky side. So you got to realize what it is you're going to be soldering. But this is a really good kit to consider buying. It heats up by the trigger mechanism. Pull it halfway, you get the low heat setting. Pull it all the way, you get high heat. And no, there's no stay on lock position for it, so when you release it, it just cools down automatically. Let me show you a couple other pictures and we'll continue the conversation. Okay, so this is just a quick picture showing you what it looks like out of the box. And these are just showing you some of the features and the accessories. It's got the facing LEDs, which is plenty bright enough. It does heat up in six seconds, it heats up fast. It includes these accessories. I'm going to make some comments, I mean, about this now. I would buy some additional tips, I mean, just to have as a backup. And that little set screw, which is like a hex screw, and you get this Allen wrench with it, you can also buy slotted or Phillips head screws. So I would tell you if you're going to, you know, order additional pieces like I did because they're cheap enough, I got the uh, Phillips head rather because it's a lot easier and less likely to strip out. Now the big complaint about this gun as well as Harbor Freights is they don't heat up well. I don't know if it's from a lack of knowledge or exactly what it is, but these come with a protective coating, you know, the tips of the soldering guns. So your first issue is you have to clean off the tips real well. Get that coating off of there. Then you can install the tip, you know, into the gun, 
and you've got the set screws, like I said, and then you're good to go. Well, how do you do that? Well, what I did is I filed the coating off of them. Then using, you know, like soldering flux, acid core, or, you know, rosin core solder, you just retin the tip of it and you're good to go. And that solves a heating problem on a lot of these issues. So I think a lot of the negative comments may be both from Harbor Freight. I don't know. I don't own that one, but I know on the Weller, if you just do the tip cleaning like you're supposed to, this thing heats up incredibly well and in seconds. Um, now, the next question is, what about circuit boards or more miniature kind of stuff? Well, you don't want this kind of a gun. I mean, I'm not going to say it's impossible, but it's not really the one for the project. So for electronics, I go with the Haku, and I'll show you an advertisement here in just a sec. It's a pencil type. Uh, let me do it right now. Okay, now I don't own this. Out at the club, one of the guys does more like circuit board kind of soldering. This is the one that he's been using. He swears by it. But again, the price is $129.95. Unless you know something better, you can drop it in the comment below. Maybe somebody else knows a better deal. But he says that this is an outstanding product for anything miniature that you're doing. Now, what about if you're a plumber and you want to, let's say, solder piping together? Could you use that weller? Well, no. I would tell you you don't want to do that. I mean, again, you want to use a plumber's torch or some kind of a pen torch. Let me show you. Okay, if you're going to be doing copper plumbing, this is probably what you want to buy. You want to buy yourself, I mean, a good pen torch. But I don't do this kind of soldering. Okay, so somebody else can drop a comment below, but I was told out at the club that this is not that expensive and it comes in real handy if you're not a professional plumber. If you're a professional plumber, you're going to probably want to buy something more expensive because you're using it all of the time. But this is a very doable pen torch. Okay, folks, so I've given you a brief overview on this. I mean, uh, personally, like I said, I got the Weller. You could probably get by with the Harbor Freight one. But uh, when I made that decision, I wanted something where I wasn't going to run into heating up issues. So I went ahead. I paid the extra, I bought the Weller. You might want to go ahead and buy the lower end one. I just didn't want to struggle with anything. Now, I gave you a couple of good tips in here. First one, take that tip out of the gun. Whether It doesn't matter which one you buy. Clean it real well with a file, retin it like we described, and then you're good to go. The other tip was buy additional set screws. Uh, even if you got to go down to the hardware store, get the ones that have the Phillips head. They're less likely to strip on you. They're just a little bit better all the way around. All right, I'm the Home Handyman. I hope you click subscribe. I hope you keep following me. If you know of a better deal out there, drop it in the comment below. Now, I just talked about the Weller Professional one. You can take a look around for the Universal one, but of the two, I'm glad that I have this one, and if I had to choose between the two, this is the one I would have chosen over the other one that I do have, which is the Universal. So, Harbor Freight one's up to you. All right, all the links are below. I hope you click subscribe. I'll see you on the next video. Thank you, folks. Bye-bye.